Hi, my name is Anita Savoie and I'm a realtor in Moncton, New Brunswick. Today I want to do my fourth video on home stager, home staging. I'm not a home stager and I want you to know that, but I'm a realtor and I care. I want you to sell your home. That's why I will give you a lot of tips in all of the video that I'm doing on what you can do to sell your house faster and to attract some buyers. Then this one is about cleaning your house and odor in your house, okay? Then I always say to my client that there are a lot of things that you can do that will cost you nothing, okay? The first thing that I'm saying usually is that what is white should be white, okay? Then I'm talking about the baseboard, about doors. Also, if you have a white cabinet, okay, outside of the cabinet, it can be brown, white, or whatever the color, clean the outside and the inside of your cabinet. All of your appliances, also the washer, inside of your washer, you want that to be clean, okay, because if it stays with your house and in New Brunswick, most of the time the appliances of the kitchen will stay with the house, okay? You want that to be clean. The sink, the, also your, your garbage can, you want that to be clean also, okay? What that means by being clean, that means that you're gonna use some products. You want to make sure that if you clean your house, it, it is a few days before you put it on the market. If you clean it the same day, you don't want to use a cleaning product that will have a big sense because you don't want to smell that. You don't want to smell that you just clean. You want to smell your house as being fresh. Then open your windows if you can, make your house fresh as much as you can. And then you can also add some scent in your house, okay? You don't want to use a, a freshener, okay? Because that is not a smell that a buyers will like, okay? You want to use something that is citrus, pine, cinnamon, basil, or vanilla. And if you don't know where to get that, you just need to have an essential oil diffuser, okay? With that, you will be able to get that smell. You don't want to have five of those ones because you don't want your house to smell too much because the buyer will think that you are hiding something. Then if you have an animal, okay, a cat or a dog, you want to make sure that the fur is not all over the place, okay? Pass the vacuum before you have a showing, okay? If you have a cat litter, make sure that it's clean or make sure that you're using a product that is more expensive that we will not smell the cat litter. You know, if a buyers already have a cat or already have a dog, maybe it will be less uh, important for them. But if they don't have some, then you will, I will see that in their face as soon as they come in your door and you don't want that. Then your house needs to be clean and it don't cost you that much to have your house clean. You may want to hire somebody for a few hours if you want right at the beginning before you sell, but after that you continue to clean your house. It's not easy to sell a house because you are working, you have kids, you, you have every, all of the things that you used to do you need to keep it doing and then you are just kind of, oh my God, I have to sell my house and I have to clean all, all of the time. And you know what? I hear you in that because I sold my house also and it's not that easy to maintain, okay? Then clean and make sure that your house smell good when a buyer is coming in. That will attract them, okay? And that's what we want to do together as a team. My name is Anita Savoie. I'm a realtor for Remax Quality Real Estate Inc. in Moncton, New Brunswick. Thank you and have a great day.